From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Waterfall Precinct in Madran, home to multiple new smart developments in the residential, commercial and logistics sectors, has officially been rebranded as Waterfall City. Darren Parker tells us more. The newly rebranded 2,200 hectare Waterfall City is home to the renowned Mall of Africa, as well as numerous residential developments of varying sizes, several hotels, schools, hospitals, business parks, logistics hubs, and numerous other shopping centers, as well as recreational destinations. The rebrand to Waterfall City was part of an effort to consolidate the branding of the sprawling developments under a cohesive and trademarked banner. It's a process that was in the making, I think, for uh, at least another uh, about eight years. Uh, we've been thinking about changing the name to Waterfall City for, uh, because there are so many uh, the misunderstandings. Some people have ambushed marketing, uh, marketed us. But the main thing is we've reached the stage where we are a city. And uh, <clears throat> if you compare it with Santon and uh, our neighbor or surrounding shopping areas, this has become much more than just a shopping center. Many people think that it's only uh, one regional shopping center and so on, but it consists of much more. Uh, it's a mixed use development and uh, it is actually a city now. Um, as far as the uh, process leading up to it uh, also is concerned is that we felt that it also makes it easier from a branding point of view. Um, and we can now actually trademark um, the name and we believe it will also raise our status in terms of the South African context and also the world context. Over the past decade, Waterfall City has been recognized as a world-class metropolitan city by means of winning several international awards as it aims to provide an attractive lifestyle in a smart, secure and connected environment. The Waterfall City has become a new economic hub in Gauteng to rival the well-established hubs of Santon and the Johannesburg Central Business District. We asked Waterfall Management Company CEO Willy Voss what it means for the precinct to now be called a city. To me it's, it's greatness, it's in the, the beginning of, of greatness. All over the world uh, where people um, see cities and they talk about it, they, um, they write about it, uh, it's part of history. I think for us um, over the last number of years it, uh, we knew that the ultimate goal would be to, to name ourselves as a, as a city and for us um, I would say uh, it's a dream come true. The Waterfall City development is home to the large PwC Tower, visible from the N1 Highway, the Mall of Africa, various other corporate office buildings and logistics parks for major local and international companies such as Deloitte and Stryker, besides others. Numerous residential estates, sectional title complexes and apartment buildings also populate the area, with shopping centers, hospitals and schools filling the spaces in between. Notable among the developments is the 9 billion rand Munyaka residential development, one of the many residential developments either developed or under development. It comprises 5,178 apartment units surrounding a 3 hectare man-made lagoon to simulate beachside living. This is the largest single sectional title residential development of its kind in the southern hemisphere. A new Gau train station is also planned for Waterfall City. As a primarily private sector-led urban development project, Waterfall City has been commended for its security, road infrastructure, energy efficiency, water efficiency, waste management, smart infrastructure and more. What might the public sector learn from the way the Waterfall City development has been run thus far that these lessons might be applied elsewhere in the country to replicate the success? Whatever we do is not that different from what uh, normal governments will do when they plan cities. We've really spent a lot of time on uh, research, looking at urban design, uh, look, looking at what is required. Uh, we eventually started with Maslow, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, and I think that is something that government can also uh, or should learn 
It's uh, sometimes it shouldn't be a vanity project. It should be something that uh, people feel that is uh, not people but feel, but what is needed. And in our case, uh, one of the main things I've learned is that you cannot do something like this on your own. It's no point in trying to say that uh, how great you are if uh, if you don't have uh, various role players. In our case, for example, we are part of the city of Johannesburg. Uh, we are proud of it that we are part of the city of Johannesburg. Uh, but we have to, uh, we have a role in this process to play. Um, when it comes to the funding, I think it was uh, maybe a little bit easier for us uh, in the sense that we don't have to jump through all those uh, hoops that uh, government normally has to go through when they when they plan something, there's lots of uh, political um, barriers, so to speak. Whereas in our case, it was the private sector. We committed our minds and, and our money and various companies. And then also what people do forget is that you have to um, get individual people also involved. A city doesn't consist of just a few houses that, that the government will build. It is every single person that spent money here at Waterfall um, have contributed to, to what we are doing. It's private sector individuals, uh, very little government spending so, much, so far, but we do <clears throat> cooperate with government in terms of bulk infrastructure. We cannot do that on our own. But what we are proud of is that we are creating extra capacity um, in the system. Uh, we also help with uh, contribution of rates and taxes. I think that is something that the government sometimes forget. Just to give every, everything away for free doesn't help uh, the government to earn income and uh, in our case we jointly all the people and commercial entities at Waterfall pay about 600 million rands uh, per annum in the rates and taxes at this point in time. We believe that in about uh, five six years from now we will be paying about a billion rands in the rates and taxes. So um, if, if government understands that um, it's not all when private sector comes with something like this it's not it's not bad we actually want to create jobs. There's thousands of people working here. Um, I think it's a, about 25,000 people that are working already at Waterfall. And there's um, just shy of 20,000 people already living here. So it is, um, I think, when proper thought goes into it, uh, I would say that sometimes feels like government doesn't uh, do all of that. But it's, a, it's an opportunity and a privilege actually to be part of this process. Waterfall City has been recognized four times between 2017 and 2020 as the best mixed-use development globally by the International Property Awards and has been further identified as the best mixed-use development in South Africa and Africa several times. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.